Welcome, I am BTV reporter Alyssa Lang. I am here today with a very special family, the Aguirres, who are in need of our help. Walter and Amy Aguirre have a son named Gabriel who has been diagnosed with acute lymphoblastic leukemia. Welcome. Can you explain to our viewers what acute lymphoblastic leukemia is? Sure. Uh, first of all, I want to thank you for taking the time to do this, and I'd like to thank the high school and the students as well. Acute lymphoblastic leukemia is a, um, excuse me, a cancer of the blood and bone marrow. <clears throat> what happens is the that the bone marrow produces immature cells, immature white blood cells that affect how the body handles, uh, you know, Infection. infections and things like that. So it really attacks your immune system. Um, what signs led you up to um, putting your son into doctor's care? In the beginning of October, Gabriel began having symptoms of abdominal pain, fevers, and joint pain. And he had been in the emergency room on three separate occasions in which they just let, you know, medicate him and send him home. I had finally had taken him to his primary care physician at the end of October. I believed he had Lyme disease because he had all the, you know, the symptoms and she did his blood work and sent us then to Children's Hospital um, for a blood transfusion. And we met with a hematologist oncologist who performed his bone marrow biopsy and his spinal tap within, you know, 24 hours for a, um, for a diagnosis. Um, can you guys talk about when his b uh, treatments began? Yeah, he um, was hospitalized October 28th. October 29th, he had his um, femoral biopsy and his treatment began um, two days later. What are the chances of remission or recovery? Generally with ALL, um, recovery and remission is 90%. Some children are placed at a higher risk and some at a lower risk. Gabriel right now has a genetic mutation within his cancer cells that place him at a lower risk for relapse, which is a really good news. Yeah, that is really, that is really good news. Um, has your family changed since the diagnosis? Yes, we have three children, 17 to a two-year-old, a 17-year-old and a five-year-old. Um, he was taken out of school, so no more school, no more daycare, which means somebody needs to be home with him 24 hours. Um, we're try trying to, to work and switch him back and forth between you know school and, or I mean, between my mom's house, my house, it's been quite confusing. Well, <clears throat> at least from, from what I can see, it's kind of made us stronger. It's opened up a lot more communication between Amy and myself, between <clears throat> my family in Los Angeles, our family here. Um, it's brought us a lot closer than we ever thought, and it's opened up it, the community. So the community has now become a very strong part of our support system, as well as our family. So. I mean, our family dynamic has definitely changed for the better, and I'm really, we're thankful for that because sometimes it can go the opposite way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you guys for answering a few of my questions. Um, we will be right back after the short break with uh, Meet Gabriel. Okay. You've been hearing the story of Gabriel Aguirre and his ongoing battle with acute lymphoblastic leukemia. If you would like to learn more about the disease and follow Gabriel's fight, you can go to Facebook, hashtag GabeFights. In addition, if you would like to support the family, order a Gabe Fights baseball t-shirt. The proceeds go directly to the family. Now, let's get back to Alyssa Lang's interview and meet Gabriel. Welcome back. We are here with the Aguirre family, who has a five-year-old son, Gabriel, who has been diagnosed with acute lymphoblastic leukemia. We have been talking with Walter and Amy, but now it's time to meet a very important young person, Gabriel. Hi, Gabriel. Hi. How are you today? Good. So, I hear you have uh, two sisters. Mm hmm What are their names? Myla and Haley. You have an older sister named Haley mm -hmm. and a two-year-old sister named Myla. 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 Um, do you want to tell us of anything about them? Well, my mom actually does love me when I get back home from the hospital. What? He said Myla loves him when he gets back home from oh, the hospital. I think she loves you all the time. Do you think so? Mm-hmm. Do you have a favorite superhero? Hulk. The Hulk? And why do you like the Hulk? Because he smashes things. Because he smashes things. Um, do you have any favorite foods or anything? Pizza and tortellini. Tortellinis. Tortellini. From the pasta shop. From the pasta shop. You like Italian foods. I see that. Um, do you have any favorite sports teams or anything? Soccer. 
Soccer. Mm -hmm. Do you want to play soccer whenever you get older? Mm-hmm. Um, can you guys explain to us what a typical day for Gabriel is like? Um, right now, Gabriel's not in school, so he's home with either myself or my mom or sometimes Walter if he's home. So we, we play, we color, we paint. We don't leave the house very often um, due to his white couch, you know, dropping up and down. So it's, it's kind of um, boring <laughs> for the most part. Um, how can our viewers help you guys today? Um, we started a, uh, a campaign with uh, Custom Make through their boosters program. And our friend Brian Menendez out in Los Angeles helped design uh, these t-shirts. Um, we've already had two campaigns where we've uh, raised, I think, uh, I think we've sold over 200 plus shirts. Um, and that's really, if you guys would like to help, then you know, we can, we're going to relaunch another shirt. We have four designs that we want to launch throughout the year. Um, they, we're going to have a few for Pittsburgh, a few for Los Angeles. and. Uh, our goal is just to raise awareness up for Gabriel. Um, what are some of, your, some of your goals in helping create awareness to this cause? Well, right now uh, we've been working with a few nonprofit organizations. Uh, the first one that we would like to thank is Peaches Neat Feet. Peaches Neat Feet, they uh, help children that have a terminal illness or recent di diagnosis, and they, they custom make. Uh, shoes for them and the children wear them as their power shoes so they wear them for their treatment they wear them for their exams they wear them for inpatient treatment and uh, it, it really helps them build their confidence uh, the second one is Carson's Hope Carson's Hope Carson's Hope um, they provide all the parking for the hematology oncology floor which is it, it, I mean it gets very expensive for when you have your your clinic visits they help pay for everything um, and they also help you financially if you have issues with transportation, you can send the message and they will, they will send donations out to people. They have a ton of fundraisers throughout the year as far as fishing derbies and they do casino nights to help raise money. That's good. Well, um, I'd like to fa thank the Aguera family for coming out to see us today and we wish you a speedy recovery, Gabriel. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you guys for having us. Thank you.